Sometimes we get a little bit stuck in our ways with our sides, so boiled peas or broccoli or carrot, but this is a really nice way to jazz up the humble broccoli. Instead of boiling it, today I'm going to roast it. And roasted vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, even peas work sensationally because it actually concentrates the flavour, so you get more of an intense roasted broccoli flavour and I love it. It's as simple as quartering it like this. You could even just leave it in half if you've got a bit more time and roast it longer. So big chunks of broccoli. I'm going to use two heads of broccoli here, cutting that in half again. Now this is just the standard broccoli, but broccolini again will work really well with this. We'll pop it in our baking tray. We need to season it with some salt, just like that and some olive oil. So a good drizzle of olive oil. We're going to dress it with some olive oil later on, but just in the oven, it does need a little bit of moisture there. Also, some garlic. Now you could grate raw garlic over the top of it, but really, roasted garlic is 10 times better. So I'm just going to use three cloves. I'm just going to bash them just a little bit with my hand and they can go into the roasting dish. Now it's as simple as popping that in the oven, 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. How good does this broccoli look? It really beats boiled broccoli. And these gorgeous little cloves of garlic, well, they're ready to go. Now all we need to do is dress it. So while it's still piping hot, I love to add good quality balsamic vinegar to this. Just a drizzle and some more olive oil. So I've got a beautiful Australian olive oil here and really makes a difference here. So good quality for that. And now we need to give it a good stir. Mix that around in all of that balsamic and the olive oil there. It smells beautiful. We'll just place that in a big bowl. And you can see they're still holding their form. I love how they're just a little bit golden brown on the sides there, just on top. And don't forget all that garlic there. We want that in our dish, so we'll just pop that on there. And that is perfect as is, but I love the addition of ricotta. Now, this is not the usual ricotta, this is hard ricotta. It's a little bit salty, which really goes nicely with vegetables just like broccoli. So I just freshly grate that just on top there to finish off. That is no boiled broccoli. It's interesting, it's making vegetables interesting, and that's what you want with a roast dinner.